Hello everyone, my name is Anton Arhipov and I am a developer advocate in Kotlin team. In this presentation, I will talk about static analysis for Kotlin. Kotlin is a language that a lot of developers love. The authors worked hard to design a language that would enable developers to write concise, readable and safe code. A lot of language features are made to eliminate the whole set of pesky bugs in your programs. For instance, null safety is built into Kotlin type system and the language provides a nice syntax to work with nullable types. However, not everything can be solved with a nice syntax or fast compiler with a reasonable effort. This is where tools come into the game. We as toolmakers, of course, have been focused on the IDE support uh, for the most part. And I hope you noticed that the Kotlin plugin performance improved by a lot lately. The plugin provides syntax highlighting, autocompletion, refactoring capabilities, and also there is a lot of inspections for Kotlin. Inspections make the ID more intelligent. As you type, you see the editor highlighting possible issues or bugs and notifying you about the experimental features or deprecation. Sometimes the editor can notify you about the style issues you have agreed in the team, like for instance, uh, hey, we have agreed not to use the else branch in when expressions for sealed classes. ID intelligence is critical for developer experience, but that's not enough for working in teams. If we work in a team and agree on some rules, we need a way to manage, distribute and validate those rules. It immediately raises a requirement to integrate with your ID and with your CI pipelines but also to provide convenient reporting facilities. This time, we would like to announce something that Kotlin developers have been waiting for. Kadana is the new product by JetBrains that is committed to build a new quality platform. It integrates with your CI and with your IDE to streamline the development process. The solution consists of a dashboard, linters, and the IDE plugin. Let me show you a quick demo on how to get started with Kadana for your Kotlin project. I'm going to use the Spring Pet Clinic project that I have found on GitHub. I will just clone the project in the terminal and start the standalone Kadana linter for the JVM. The linter is packaged in a Docker image, so all I need to do is to execute the Docker command. It takes some time to download the image and the dependencies, and then it runs a default set of inspections. Once it's done, I can open the report and browse the results. Let's see. When I open the dashboard, I can immediately see the sandburst diagram that shows me the breakdown of the detected issues in the project. I can use this diagram to filter the issues. The report below the diagram is for browsing the individual issues. From there, I can navigate to the same location in my ID or to the Git repository. And in addition, I can apply some more filtering. To open the correct code location in the ID, you need to install the Kadana ID plugin that you can find on the IntelliJ IDEA plugins marketplace. Let's see what else we can find in the Kadana dashboard. In real projects, there are always some issues that we know exist, but we won't do anything about them. Filtering those issues one by one is kind of annoying and gets in the way when we inspect the report. We can move this list of known issues to a baseline. In the dashboard, there is a tab called Technical Depth. This is where the baseline is going to stay. The next runs are then compared to that baseline. This helps in the situations when you have no possibility to fix the old problems, but you would like to prevent the appearance of the new issues. The third tab that we can see on the dashboard is where you can configure the inspections. You can locate any inspection in the list. These changes are then reflected in the Kadana YAML configuration file that you have to refresh in your project after you made the changes. Until now, I worked with the inspections that are grouped into Kadana profiles and supplied with the linter. But how do I make the configuration match with the set of inspections that I see in my ID? When we edit the inspections list in IntelliJ IDEA, the configuration for those is stored in the .idea inspection profiles folder. Using the kadana.yaml file, we can actually point to a specific profile by providing the path 
or the profile name. And then Kadana Linter will use that profile from your project to actually run the inspections. However, when I run the checks with the new configuration, even in this small project that I ended up with tons of issues in the report. Obviously, I can use the filters in the Kadana dashboard to figure out what's important for me and what's not, but I think there is a better way to cope with this. Kadana runs the set of inspections that are enabled with the profile I have supplied. It means that if I run all the inspections in the ID, I will get the same result, and then I can edit the inspection profile according to my needs. For this project, I decided that I will keep only the issues that are related to the server side. I switched off everything that is related to the front end, and I ended up with the issues I care about. Now I have much less information to handle in the Kadana reports too. In fact, there are many different options on how you can pass the configuration to Kadana, and we have made sure that these options are all well documented. Let's talk about linters now. The main linter that Kadana makes use of is the IntelliJ IDEA packaged within a Docker container. We package the linters based on technology. There is a Docker image for PHP, for Python, for JavaScript, and obviously there is an image for JVM technologies, meaning it's tailored for Java and Kotlin. But there are two kinds of images for Kadana for JVM. Kadana JVM image is based on the IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition, and Kadana for JVM Community images are bundling IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition that doesn't include the static checks for web technologies. So if it's important for you to have the checks for your Spring configurations, for enterprise technologies, you will then select Kadana for JVM image. And this is not a full story, of course. It's not enough to have a standalone linter. We need to integrate somehow with the CI tools. Currently, there are instructions on how to integrate with TeamCD, Jenkins, GitHub Actions, and GitLab. Here, Kadana becomes a part of the CI gates, and you can browse the inspection results for the specific builds. And you can fail the pipeline if the results are not satisfactory. To get a feel of what it looks like and play with the inspection results, you can log as a guest into TeamCity Cloud instance for Kidana, where we run the inspections for various open source projects. Hopefully you will like it and decide to give it a try in your own project. So this is all I wanted to tell you today. The product is quite new and there is a lot of work ahead and we are really interested in your feedback. So give it a try and let us know how it works for you. And if there is anything related to static code analysis that needs to improve. Thank you for watching and have a nice Scotland.